question number 249 dy by dx is equal to y tan x minus 2 sin x so rearranging the given equation we have dy by dx is equal to sorry dy by dx plus y into minus tan x is equal to minus 2 sin x so this is in the standard form of linear differential equation which is y into p equal to q where p and q should be functions of x alone or a constant so here p is equal to minus tan x and q equal to minus 2 sin x so integrating factor for such equations are given by e raised to integral p dx e raised to integral minus tan x we can write sin x by cos x dx so differential of cos x is minus sin x so we can write this as e raised to log cos x or cos x so we got our integrating factor solution for linear differential equation in the standard form is given by y into is equal to integral integrating factor into q dx plus c so y into cos x is equal to integral cos x into q this minus two x dx plus c so we have integral minus two sorry two sin x cos x is minus uh, 2 sin x cos x is sin 2x x plus c so integrating we have integral of sin 2x is minus cos, cos 2x so minus minus becomes plus cos 2x by 2 plus c so y into cos x is equal to cos 2x You divide throughout by cos x. So this can also be written as cos two x is two cos square x minus one by two plus c, right? So if you open this up, we have cos square x minus one by two plus c. So minus 1 by 2 plus c, this we combine to another con constant. So cos square x plus c1, say where c1 is c minus 1 by 2. So y into cos x is equal to cos square x plus c1. So if you divide throughout by cos x, we have y into cos x plus c1 into 1 by cos x, which is c x. So the standard uh, the answer in the textbook is given in this format that's why we did this rearrangement so this is the final solution so if you have any doubt for c1 equal to c minus 1 by 2 c1 is an arbitrary constant so this is the solution to question number 249